Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. But I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40. And he just gets rid of it. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Three down, three down. 45 to fight. Red two. Nice run there. That's a first down here, and I love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching the ball or at times running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hand. They're about four yards away here on second down. to the left. Runs outside for a nice game. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. And he throws it away. Here's the eighth play of the series. He gets hit out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Third down again. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. the 14 yard line from the 14 yard line first down they'll work the right side and there's nothing going there really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield we're at the 12th play of the drive That brings up third and 14. So that sack leaves them with some work to do. It's third down and 14. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Tight right, tight right. I'm trying to collect. 86 to man, 86 to go. Oh. Oh. And he's got it, going the other way now. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw.
First and ten. Ball on their own 20. Seven yard line. Number eight makes the tackle. First down, ten to go. Ball on the thirty-seven. Here we go. Wide at eight. He fights forward to about the forty. Field. Tackle made around the 41 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. He's out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. of two on the run by the halfback. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Get to that quickly. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The 21-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. So at the end of one quarter, now this one's scoreless. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Inside the 10. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. It was an 11-play, 80-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. Each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Across the middle, tight end's got it. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. That makes his third and 
23. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. And they're coming after this punter. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Looking for the corner, brought down at the 29-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Colorado State is up a score. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he tackles him hard at the 22. I mean, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Third and long now after the sack. Excellent open field tackle. Number eight makes the tackle. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44. Loose football. They fall on it. If the defense has been able to fall on that, we could be looking at a big shift in momentum. from their own 47-yard line. Second down. Just throws this one away. Colorado State up seven points. Fires to his receiver, first down. Wow, that looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. That makes it first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Ready, black And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. And this play is number eight on the drive. Let's go! Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Ready! Wide at the end! Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a team seven on the play. That'll bring the tenth play of the drive. After a decent pickup. That's around five yards gained there on the play for the tailback. A little bit of over pursuit by the defense gave him the room he needed to get the first. Colorado State right is up by a touchdown. Right and he 
throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This is the 12th play of this drive. And they make the stop right around the eight-yard line. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. 20, 50, Pass is caught, the defense lays him out. a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. From their own 15-yard line. It's first down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15. Gets out to around the 25. Well, we're headed to halftime now. We're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. Colorado State leads 7-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Colorado State is up seven. 20, 59, Philly. Receivers got it on the screen. Tackle at about the 29-yard line. Number eight. 
makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's a gain of nine on the play. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After, After review, review of the play, the, play, the, ruling, the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. Let's go! Black 85! Black 85! Hut, hut! Hut, hut! He makes it to the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Ready! Blue 88! Hot! He scrambled. And down he goes, right around the 44-yard line. Third down. Colorado State is up a score. He gets rid of this one. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's tackled at the 27. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Nearly intercepted. Number seven, Nintendo receiver on the play. Makes it third and three. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Go four. Green 15. Go. with a catch and up for the first. First and 10, all on their own 35. Screen pass, he's got his half back. Five yards. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it. They keep moving the defense back. And 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. Gains his way to the 30 yard line. Push him out at about the 27 yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 27 yard line. 
Play number nine of this current drive. Three down, three down. Mark, Mark. Go. Here, we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, 20. Go, go, go. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. Can they get another interception here? That's what they got last time this offense was in the red zone. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 15. Gets two on the carry. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. Here's the 12th play of the drive. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Oregon State kicked this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Colorado State is up four. One play, and he'll lose yards. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. He wants it all. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. That makes it first and ten. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. Colorado State leads 7-3. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Another run. They bring him down at the 25. From the 25 yard line, second down. immediately tackled. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down. Colorado State is up by four. Ready! Tailback run down for a loss. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! Run, left 
side. Down around the 16 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Back five. Blue 20. Got hit and still completed it. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. Number 16 makes the tackle at the 30-yard line. That will make it Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Dog play. And they got it. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Less than three minutes in the game. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Makes it out to about the 49. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Second and six. Ball on the 47. They get nice yardage on that run. Oregon State's called their final timeout. There's it again, and he's tackled in the backfield. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. Well, they've got the ball back, but they're still trailing. Well, the clock is not on their side right now. They just need to hope that they can get a very quick score here and then hope for the best. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second and 10. 
Ball in their own 22. He wants it all, going long. Caught sideline, and he stays in. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. A little over a minute in the game. He guns it left side. And that just might do it. Intercepted. And he is drilled at the eight-yard line. And it's the defense that delivers a knockout punch with that interception. They line up at the eight. First down. Stop at about the seven yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Taken down at the 22. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. What are you doing? That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 14-3, Colorado State. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.